All right, well, we came straight out of St. Andrews, about three miles. I can see the, the whistle buoy, which is the three-mile line from where I'm at. It's not far. But, um, we're going to pull up over here on a wreck. It's beautiful out here right now. And this isn't a big piece of structure. I don't think it's big enough. And we're in about 65 feet of water. So it's not too terribly deep. There's triggers here. They need to bait before it even hit the bottom. Bigger, but not big enough. Because I'm sitting real close to where the tide comes in and out of the bay, the tide's running a little bit harder here than it would be, you know, a mile or two away from here. Alright, well, I can't get through the trigger fish to get down close to bottom. We're going to keep moving. See what else we can find. All right, well we came over here. We're still right on the three mile line. We came over here about two miles from um, from the whistle buoy. And um, it's just another piece of structure that's been sank out here. And I'll show you what it looks like. So that's the structure down there on the bottom. Those are all fish, bait. There's fish and bait down there on the bottom. We're in 72 feet of water, 71 and a half. So, we'll fish. There may be bee liners, there may be gags, there may be red snapper. Who you knows? We'll fish. Or it could be trigger fish. There seems to be trigger fish all over the place out here. Well, there's definitely trigger fish here. He's not big enough to feed. So he's going to be a little bit too small. I think it's a keeper, but we'll check it real quick. And he's 13 and a half. Not a keeper. We're going to move on. All right, we're pulling up in Midway. And um, I'm going to look at uh, some of the bridge fans and stuff like that. See if there's any fish on it that don't look like trigger fish. I don't mind catching triggers, but I'd rather catch some grouper today. 
I can only keep one trigger. I keep two grouper. The grouper sandwiches are good. Right taste. Trigger. Yep. Another keeper. Trigger. There's triggers here. They're eating the bait before it hits the bottom, so let's see if we can catch the keeper. Fighting like a trigger. Nice one, but I don't think he's a keeper. And he's fourteen.
another trigger. They're all about the same size. All right. All right, well, we pulled back up on the sailboat wreck. <clears throat> we'll go fish here for a few minutes. Oh, well, I know it's time to go home now. I just caught a catfish. Oh, yeah, that's a sign. That is a sign. Well, go, go get on out, man. I'll catch up with you here a little bit. All right. We well, got to be careful. Bye, right, man. Be safe. All right, bye. don't like that fish. All right, I'm going to call it a day. Um, this morning was very, very good. Caught um, two keeper red snapper. Lost a keeper red snapper trying to swing him in the boat. My fault. Shouldn't swing fish, but I do. Um, caught a 22-inch gag grouper. Caught a little red grouper. Caught um, that huge red fish. Um, it's always a good day when I catch big redfish like that. Wasn't trying to catch one. They just happened to be moving through where I caught that one. Went offshore, caught a bunch of trigger fish. Um, it was a nice day. It's been cloudy and overcast all day, light wind. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little different. Um, I'll be back out here tomorrow. I've got somebody coming with me tomorrow. And um, but we'll come back out here. We'll probably stay in the bay all day. See if we can catch us a, a, another one with a red snapper. And um, see what else we can catch. Um, appreciate you watching the video. Hope you learned something. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, ring the bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything. And um, neither does ringing the bell. Um, but uh, hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, um, just what I do, I catch fish, um, or at least try to catch fish. So we'll see you tomorrow.